See, we used to have something here in the U.S. in healthcare called informed consent. And as a judge, you know, I've had cases tried in my court, uh, and informed consent would come up as an issue because a healthcare provider, doctor, whoever, is uh, required to advise a patient of all the risks, all the known risks inherent to a procedure, a shot, a treatment, something like that. And only after that patient is advised of the risks inherent to that uh, are, is the consent considered legitimate. If you don't advise them of the risks and you get them to agree to a treatment, uh, you could be sued for that if there are problems if you didn't warn them before you got their consent. It has to be informed consent. Well, the three vaccines, we, I am grateful to President Trump for moving heaven and earth so that we could get three vaccines out that would help address the COVID pandemic. Uh, and it has, but we're actually to a point now where it appears to be under control. People are not dying like they were before, and it turns out mostly it was people over 75 or 80. Yes, sir. Uh, most other people, unless they had some uh, physical ailments uh, that made them more sus susceptible, uh, then you know, it normally was not fatal. But now it's much more under control, and it should be time for people to be properly warned about the possible side effects of the vaccines before they get their consent. I think we're past the critical emergency stage. I know that Democrats want to keep the firm iron fist of government control of socialism over the citizens. They've wanted to move us to socialism so that uh, people can't make up their own minds. They have to be ordered by the government. Um, and I've said before, but it turns out the only thing that Orwell got wrong was the year. It wasn't 1984, but the rest of it's happening. But anyway, I was visiting with a pharmacist about the various vaccines, and he said, have you seen the warnings that come with the vaccines we're getting? Uh, the pharmacists are getting them, but people aren't seeing them. And you're familiar, I'm sure you've got medicine and you unfold this big thing oh, to yeah. see what all the warnings are. And I said, no, I haven't seen those either. Uh, and my wife, she'd been vaccinated, she hadn't seen the warnings. Uh, so I thought, well, that'd be a good idea if people started seeing them. He said, well, let me show you the, the uh, warnings that came with this vaccine we just got. Um, well, he's and, got it. Yeah. That looks like and a this, book. Yeah, and you see it's the COVID. Can, 19 you, can you read the bottom part there? Suspension for intramuscular injection for use under emergency use authorization. Yeah, so that's, it's for use under emergency authorization. Here, help me unfold this. <laughs> and it's uh, same on the other side. Uh, yeah, there's nothing there. And I said, where are the warnings? It said, since it's under emergency youth authorization, they don't have to give you the warnings. And I said, well, why would they waste all of this paper like this? I said, well, they wouldn't waste it, but they apparently have enough warnings to fill all this once it's required. I think it'd be a good idea to go ahead and print this and let everybody see what the warnings are before they make up their mind on whether they should have the vaccination. 
I think what, isn't this that is amazing? Scary. This isn't is that, scary. I've never seen anything like that, ever. But you read the key line for emergency. Yeah, and that means you don't have to warn people. 